Good day. Today I'm going to tell you about ProTracker. ProTracker is a tool that was used in the early 90s, late 80s to create music if you don't have the money for a sampler, for yeah, hardware and stuff. But you maybe had an Amiga 500 at home at this time. And with this machine you could do incredible stuff. And why am I telling you that in 2021? Well, easy, because I found my way into making music, into music production with exactly that tool. So maybe it can help you to try to understand how to get into music. I mean, this video is for people that never made music on a computer and they want to try it. And maybe it's more easy than setting up all this big software packages just well, for another opportunity, a different approach for music production, getting into music production basically. So let's get started. What you're gonna do is you head over to Google and you search for Pro Tracker 2. Then you're gonna see this site, 16bits.org, which is maintained by 8-bit Bobsy, who is maintaining all this great software from back in the days. He even does, you can see it here, the actual Amiga version of ProTracker, if you have a real Amiga like I, I do. But you go here, ProTracker 2 clone, and here you can see. ProTracker is available for PC, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Just don't go for Android or iOS because touch devices are obviously the wrong choice to try out uh, a tracker. I'm getting the 64-bit Windows version be because I'm running 64-bit Windows and I'm gonna save it to the desktop. You can save it in your downloads folder. You can find it usually where your is. And after that I'm gonna extract the zip file to a folder which is gonna be PT2 clone and here we go. You have a readme now. You can read that if you want. And you have the PT clone directory. And in that here, you have the exe file, ProTracker clone, Windows 64 exe. If you start that, you get this window. If you came so far, that's good for you because we have it set up. It is running. So if your window of ProTracker is too small, you go to your directory, the PT clone directory. And you right click the protracker.ini file and you go to um, open with editor. And then you can see this is like the config file for the stuff. And here we have the video scale. If you go do like 3x, it's three times zoomed. You can save the file and then start protracker again. And you can see it's now bigger. It depends on your resolution, what you need. You can try around setting it to four times if you want, but that's how to make the UI a little bit bigger. Though the software is the same like on the real hardware, we have one big advantage here, and that is track and drop support. So you can track and drop songs or samples into ProTracker. But first, we need to get an example song. Let's do that first. There are different sources for mods, but we go for the mod archive. A mod, by the way, is standing for module, and that is basically a song. So remember, a mod file is a whole song, all right? And that's gonna be this side here. Looks like this. And I can search for, like, Comatron, which is me. You're gonna find two mods there. Um, let's download the Dawn mod, which is the latest I have done. Um, let's see where we can download that. I think it's here. We're just gonna save it to the desktop, all right? Now let's make use of that track and drop functionality. A thing a lot of people don't know is that you can actually track and drop your downloaded file from the download bar down here instantly into the software you need it like in this case ProTracker. If you don't have this bar or you don't find it, um, just go to the folder where you downloaded the module and you track it and you drop it into ProTracker. That's all, here we go. And now you're ready to play the file. You just go to play. Stop. I don't want to spoil that for you because you should do that on your own. 
try it and listen to the song. And that's it for the first part of the tutorial. I hope you stick with me and I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. Um, see you next time. Have a good day.